Hello guys, this is Navin Reddy. So today we'll talk about something called as SSH, which is Secure Shell. Now, uh, as you know, last video was of Telnet. Uh, in Telnet, we can access your remote machine from your uh, local machine. So for this, you have to configure a router so that it will work with Telnet protocol. Now, Telnet stands for Terminal Network. Yeah, so Telnet, Telnet gives you features of remote login. But the problem is when you talk when you talk about remote login, now you have to you have to send some password to this router so that it will verify. And this the password which you send to this router it goes in a plain text. That means it's not secure. To make it secure, you have to use something called as SSH. Now to, to enable SSH, so you have to go to the go to your router and then again we have to configure first you have to say enable uh, i have already set the password for this router one two three four five okay so uh, then once you get into routers router uh, config uh, this enable mode you have to say config t and from this you have to work with some commands now the first is you have to set the ip domain you have to set the ip domain name we can set any name like we can say Navin. So IP domain name is Navin. Then you have now when we talk about this SSH, it uses some cryptography method. So we have to set some cryptography crypto. We have to set some key and we have to generate that key. So we have a command called generate and we have to specify the algorithm type. So one of the algorithm which supports uh, this SSH is RSA. So we can use RSA algorithm set so set this then uh, yeah for this we need to set the host name it's compulsion so we can set the host name and we'll say ho host name as ssh demo uh, now we can go for the crypto part crypto part yeah now it's asking for the how many bits you have to enable for this module now it will by default is 512 you can set the in multiple so what you can do is you can set uh, 1024 for the uh, rsa algorithm and then you have to we have to specify which type of uh, remote login we can use so we can say ip ssh we are going for ssh this time and the version of ssh we are using is version 2 then after this you have to set a remote login so we have to type line vty as we have done in telnet so line vty is 0 and then here you have to say we have to use a transport layer and we'll be giving some input from transport in the format of SSH and say OK. So once you complete this, once you complete this, you have to say exit and that's it. You have already configured your SSH. And then let me close this router. And from this machine, if you want to work with SSH, now instead of saying Telnet, last time we have used with uh, Telnet, yeah, last time we have said Telnet this time i will say it's ssh and since we are saying login so login in the uh, in uh, with the uh, username called as admin and then you have to specify your address it's 182.168.1.1 and now password is one two three four five six now you can see you can access your router and this is secure mode when you say you have sending some password it will go in cypher text because we are using algorithm called as rsa so telnet provides you remote login ssh provides you remote login the difference is telnet is not secure ssh is secure so i hope you understand this thank you so much